Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We are at the port in Denver. Can you guess what we're going to be hauling? That's right, we're going to be hauling some good old number seven. We have the Mac R from Harvin, it's free on the Steam Workshop. And the skin is actually, well, Jack Daniels, and it is done by Sir Blackulot, which can also be found on the Steam Workshop for zero dollars absolutely free so that's what we got going I know that our trailers just about ready to go so let's go ahead and uh, pick her up as I'm going through the uh, going through all the checks here I will let you know I am running Z mods Mac ENDT um, it is a, I believe it's the 300 horsepower version of it. Uh, pretty powerful for the truck at the time. Not very powerful <laughs> by these standards, but that's okay. I think we're only going to be carrying 20, maybe 30,000 pounds of old number 7. And I am using a, uh, to try to keep it somewhat authentic, uh, we are running a maxi torque 12 transmission so it's 12 speed I say that it's somewhat authentic in that the shift patterns have been adapted by Fury 6 but it has been adapted because a Mac has a different type of shifter than a uh, than an Eaton Fuller like the one that I have right here so essentially you drive it like a 10 speed and all 10 gears are in the lower range and you get to five slots and you split each one of them that's how you get ten then if you want the low gears and the five reverse gears that come with it you gotta go into the upper range that's essentially how it works alright let me go ahead and uh, talk to them there's my trailer right there just gonna make sure that it's all uh, all packed up and ready to go and then I'll be back with you in just a second okay upper range all right, we got the uh, go ahead that it's all loaded up, so I'm just gonna go back in and load her up. We're gonna need to drop that back suspension. Actually, I think we're gonna be pretty good. An elite team has been assembled to guide the mission. Let's get started. Thanks, Morgan that loaded up. Raise suspension back up. Looks good. And we are headed off. We got two hours, three minutes game time. So let's get going. That car has a pretty good turning radius on it. Kind of level it out a little bit so we don't juice those tires too much on the back of the trailer. After all, she is loaded. By the way, we've got 19,842 pounds of good old number 7 on here. Let's get the windows up because this ENDT is loud. Love the sound of that engine. Take it nice and easy. Don't want to be breaking any of those bottles. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Make sure we clear that. That's harder than it looks, or at least for me. All right, we'll go through our inspections again on the way out. Probably can get those four ways off for just a second. 
probably not entirely necessary. Well, I hope you guys are having a good week. About halfway through now, or more than halfway through. Um, got the weekend actually coming up pretty quick, just in a couple days. Um, I've been doing a lot of, uh, just been doing a lot of testing on some different trucks. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, I had mentioned a couple videos ago, I'd spent a lot of time trying to clean up my profiles. Uh, it's so easy to get conflicting mods, and I've got a lot of the trucks out of there and, uh, and trailers that have been conflicting, and now I've just been kind of building kind of like my perfect profiles, the ones that I can go to really easily that have the most common things, my graphics, um, like real companies and logos and stuff like that. Um, but then just making sure I've got like a good handle I make sure I've got all of my I always put John Ruta all in the same profile if I'm running the Pingas truck and trailer I put that in its own profile so I don't get any conflicts with that those two are like some of the biggest that I run into conflicts with and it could be anything from game crashes to missing wheels it could be absolutely anything and then I've got my profile now with all my Macs. So I've got the Mac R, I've got the, there's an extension to the uh, Mac R, makes it a little bit bigger truck. Got the Super Liner, straight. got the Cruise Liner. That one's a paid mod. But, and making sure that I've got anything that I would associate with Macs, so I've got my, uh, my transmissions, the 10 speed and the 12 speed maxi torque in this profile. I don't have it loaded up in any other profile because it doesn't make any sense. Um, and all of my ENDTs, I've got some from, I think Creech Bomb had some. Slav Jerry may have had one, or Continue was it, straight. or was it uh, Rabinicus? And I've got one from, obviously, Zmods, the one that we're using today. So. Just trying to get everything in order so that I can jump between these profiles more often, knowing, hey, all right, I want to go to that truck. Let's run the pister. Let's run this trailer. Let's run that. And I can just go to them, and I don't have to spend a half an hour, sometimes up to an hour, figuring out what the, the mod conflict is because I'm just throwing things in. And that's kind of what I did for the longest time. I'm testing all these free and paid trailers free and paid trucks and engines and skins and I'm just throwing them all together and to see Keep which left. ones work and now and exit left. now that I'm able to filter out the ones that I like and the ones that exit I don't left. like then it's a lot and you know I'm still doing trial and error as things are being developed and updated and new stuff is coming out but for the most part I've got a pretty good grasp on what works and what doesn't what I want to run and what I don't so now, just cleaning it all up. Oop. Can we get up here in too high? I think we can. I think we can. Go into third direct. Direct is like the low version third high, right there. You can see at the bottom of my screen what's going on there. I think he wants us to keep right. That's what he said. Keep left. But yeah, it's, it's amazing how if you're adding new things all the time and skins and engines and free stuff and add-ons and paid stuff it's amazing how it gets out of hand and things just get jumbled up I mean you could even have a profile that was absolutely fine you know two weeks ago and then three of them got updated and one of them didn't and you didn't even realize that there was any relation between them and now everything's screwed up again so you just kinda have to stay on it but organizing them know for the most part so I can pretty much isolate now what it is that's going to give me problems um, 
so it's easier to stay on top of. But back in the Mac R again, I love this truck. It's 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 one of my favorite free trucks for sure. Like the detail that's in it. I love the the engine. That's obviously Z mods, but it's uh, the one that comes with the truck uh, from Harvin. Also not bad. I just have a preference for this one. And I'm sure they absolutely had a GPS in these Mac R's, right? Creature comforts. Looks like we're just kind of cruising up to speed now. Not going too faster here, which is fine. We're not going too fast anyway, period. Not in this truck. But I like it. I like being able to run uh, realistic engines, realistic transmissions. And at the time, they were slow. They just, they were slower. They, uh, they didn't haul as much, or they couldn't haul as much as fast. This guy's gonna screw me up. Oh man, killing me. Lost a little bit of speed there. Now he moves over to the other lane. Gotta love it. AI traffic. Probably just stay in for high right here. South on the 25. Only an hour left uh, game time. We will be in Cheyenne here. Or are we going to... No. I thought we were going to Cheyenne, we are end up going to Pueblo, Colorado. And we're going to drop off at the Walmart. Yeah, they expect it. Must have been a rush. Hour two and they're already expecting it. Might have a late delivery on this one. Supposed to get in probably around, probably around 10 o'clock which is good, they'll be able to stock it overnight and you'll be able to get up bright and early 6 a.m. and get yourself some number seven. just going to kind of cruise down the road here. I'm not going to say a whole lot. I'll let the truck and the engine and the skin do the talking. Well, I was going to let left. you just listen to it. Yeah, keep going left. Oh, and we're going to run into that car. That was pretty good timing that there was one car right there. Man. Yeah, I don't think I'm going around this. I'm not taking the detour. Did it again. Going from one high to two direct is not really working for me today. Is this guy going to cut out in front of me? boy. There we go. We're just going to go straight through. It's all right. We got clearance. got an emergency and everything, but you don't even want to know the emergency that we're going to have at, uh, over at the Walmart if they can't get this stuff in the morning. Keep left. Check out that skin. When the light hits it. Did you guys catch that? What it says there on the trailer? I 
thought that was pretty funny. Keep right. And then exit right. Exit right. Then turn left. Interesting, Jake. I like it. Make sure to get that off. Yeah, just right around the corner now in Pueblo. It's kind of a different intersection. I'm not really used to intersections that look like this. Not in uh, Southern turn California, left. anyway. I gotta change that. Uh, there's there's something I'm doing wrong. Yeah, going from high into the next gear, I'm not doing something Keep right. right. And then turn right. Turn right. Oh, it's still yellow, still yellow. There we go. going around the back of the building. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. down four ways so we can hear people yelling at us thank you Morgan and we're gonna go to the other side of the building looks like and we disappeared I thought it would be camera shot of me appearing, but that is not the case. Alright, so what are we doing here? Where are we? Oh, there we are. Going real close to this building here. I'm not going to hit that. Go a little slow. Hopefully no one's coming out of here. Perfect. Curve that back end in. Good. Go up to the upper range for a reverse. Don't want to put too much strain on those tires. So we're going to have to straighten out here first. go. Should be able to make that now. Straighten it out. Pretty good. We'll whip it around. So we're pretty, pretty lined up. We're getting there anyway. Need to straighten out the cab now. Hopefully, we have enough room to do that. Let's pull it just a little bit. I think I can do a little bit better. There we go. Look 
looking pretty lined up. Not too bad at all. Let's see if we can bump the dock. Ever so gently. There we go. Some places don't let you bump the dock. I like that. So there she is. We are in Pueblo dropping off some old number seven. Now it's the Mac R free on Steam Workshop. The skin is too. I'll have a link to it. Uh, the skin, by the way, the, so the the trailer I didn't mention. It is the uh, Tempty Super Seal trailer, and that one is by Smarty, f also free on Steam Workshop. And the skin is compliments of Richard Brown. You can find him on Facebook. I will drop a link to his channel down below. He's releasing skins for all kinds of trailers all the time. And uh, really kind of makes for a, a good combo here. So, yeah, hauling some whiskey tonight. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see all my videos. That about wraps up this video, but I will see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you.